All right, guys. Hello, and welcome to episode four of Foundation. So, you know, we're off to I think a fairly decent start here. We got ourselves a nice little shepherd here with all these nice sheep. We got ourselves this nice little watchtower. We got our lordly manor, and you know couple of fishing huts, a couple of um, <clears throat> granaries here, and we got our nice warehouse, and we just started by building our first farm, and uh, I kind of did make a mistake last time, I think I painted this as an extraction zone, but we need to paint our farm field, <clears throat> and really wonder how far they will actually go. Alright, oops. Ah, I always do that. Okay, that's been painted. We'll take this paint off. And we'll go back to playing. So. Currently we have no quest, so I believe this is basically going to start coming down to us. Residential. Lots and lots of desired land. I definitely do want to keep it on the hilly side. And we do have this now. <clears throat> so the question is... Do we expand out here let them build some houses? You know... I definitely think we're going to need another wood cutter. Huh. Wooden gate. That'd be cool with the wooden walls. I wonder if they have a stone gate. That's what I'm really looking for. Do not appear to have that. Okay. So, actually, we're going to we're going to plop down a well Oh, we're broke. Some big expense just came out of nowhere. Alright, we're going to have to wait for the money to build back up. Let's look at our budget. <laughs> That's where the big expense must have happened. Territorial taxes. Or territory taxes. No, oh, we're definitely not producing enough. Maintenance costs are really killing us. So we definitely, you know what, I'm just going to paint this for extraction. <sighs> and we're just going to let these guys walk that way. I know it's kind of a far walk, but I'm telling you, we're going to... We're gonna have to start selling goods to our own people because we do have this commodity commodity market right here. And as our people get richer, they're gonna buy more. So I think we should do clothes or something. We're gonna decrease the speed here real quick. Okay. So we got the sheep. So. Produces cloth and exchange wool. 100 gold. We're broke again. You know what? I think we have way too much. As far as treasury is concerned. Yeah, my three extensions are all... Additional 10 in maintenance, additional 10 in maintenance. Hmm. Yeah, how do you... Alright. Right click on it to go to none. How much is a great haul? Just 8 gold? Huh. 
Oh, maintenance cost is 19. You know, I think we might only need 1,500. How much? I think I could drop it down anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll leave it like that. All right, we're going to pause real quick so that way we can build this tailor workshop. We don't have any polished stone. <laughs> Can't get any polished stone without any cloth. Oh, that is most unfortunate. Yeah, resource list. No polished stone. We can't get polished stone without cloth. Well, that's silly. They're buying polished stone, they're not selling. They're selling polished stone, but I need 20 bread for this. All right, looks like we're gonna have to go another option. Wait, who's selling cloth? Anybody selling cloth? Nobody, nobody selling cloth. Okay, well that's really unfortunate. I'm having the fields. The fields just started growing. I have another available villager. How many villages do I have that are unemployed? Three. Okay, that's... It's not... Great. Looks like I'm going to add three more soldiers. So that only requires one... These are all houses. Got three of three. Three of three. Three of three. Yeah, everything's all filled up. Yeah, the only thing we could have really added more people to is stone cutter, but it makes no sense to have more stone cutters. I think we're max out on stone yeah we have 150 stone right now maybe we could build another warehouse yep we have to reduce expenses by another 200 Is coming from as far as maintenance is concerned. I don't see any maintenance for any of these places. So, why is it at 900? Why isn't that's probably a incorrect message? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure why uh, why our maintenance fees are so high. Wish it was more. Of a oh, there we go. Well, two gold. Keep nine. Gold. Rustic troops. Lord Manor, sixty-nine gold. So for a week. The Lord Manor will cost 527. Yeah. We might need to bring some of this down. Extension. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, extension. Yeah, we're gonna delete that. I'll save us a little bit. We don't want to kill too much of our splendor. It's currently doing nothing. We'll delete those two for the time being. Eh. Hmm. We have a ton of that. Where do you have all of that? <sighs> All right. Yeah, we'll uh we'll assist the people on this one. Boom, done. That way we can get this We will uh we'll get this trade bonus. We'll try to get that going. Alright, so we killed that expense down. What else? We, two granaries. 70. I'm not even using this one. We are going to blow Dole's dad. So that should bring it to down another 35. Keep is at 63 gold. So nine gold. Wooden top. Well, we want this to build up, so we're going to have to keep that in line there. And that's really probably about as much as we can. Hopefully that leveled some of this off. Alright, what do we say? Windmill? 200. Okay, we'll speed this up a little bit. Get it to two times. 25 villages are lacking faith, so this definitely does not cover enough. Might have to build another church. Alright. We just have enough resources as far as tools is concerned. Maintenance cost is only two gold per day, so that doesn't seem too horrible. I kind of like it right here. Okay. We'll mill that down into flour. See, I still don't know if this is the price. It's all at above value. Thinking this is the price. Alright. Oh, well, look. Stone guys are working again. And all three of our. So, oh, they're just really meshing up here aren't they well don't all guard the same spot people name bailiff oh the salary well, that's only a weekly salary yeah 
Yeah, we would nominate her. Like, what are you doing, Hans? Happiness is less impacted. Yeah, we'll nominate. Yes, yes. I will I definitely deploy my troops. Yep. And five. Send you guys. Oh, there we go. There's some nice field planting here. Could have made this too large, I don't know. And I'm going to hold off on a free territory. I just don't want to pay any more territory tax right now. I'm not making enough to justify that. This thousand gold will definitely help us. I don't mind looking. General spending, that's that build up so even that it's still still lacking pretty hard. Alright. <clears throat> At least my soldiers are still training. I'll go to general. How many workers take this? Two. You are both fired and now hired. Might have built that just a little bit too close there. I was hoping to have the road behind and the road in front. And that's alright. Where's the door for this place? <laughs> you would have thought they would have just put a door right there, but okay, cool. Once again, cool. Why? Why do they all insist on putting the doors in the most awkward of spots? Hmm. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine, as long as I can get in and out and not get stuck, that's that's a okay. Like this person, look. Put it right there. So are all these So I wonder why some of them upgraded and some of them didn't. They kinda automatically upgrade them as they see fit. So I really have no say on whether or not they get upgraded. <sighs> oh, so I... I guess I grabbed this territory last time. I don't recall that. It's probably not a bad thing that we did. Looks like we got a little trade going too, huh? Just that time. Because my trade expenses is 200 gold and there's this, my income is only 80 no trade yeah we're 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 gonna not Yeah. This can't be prices because I got 10 tools, which is what I wanted. Oh, we could. This must be what we're. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the berries at 10. Actually, we'll 
put the planks at 40 here. Okay. Definitely learning a little bit more about this game. Each time we encounter the problems. Um, you know, you guys watching, if any of you guys play the games, got any tips or anything like that, you know, definitely uh, feel free to leave any comments about maybe some of the boneheaded moves that I'm doing. Like I said, not big into tutorials, but will always, you know, look and see what other people have to say as far as tips and tricks and things that they've learned. And, you know, hopefully you guys can see me playing and learn something yourself. Like I said, the game, and maybe because of my start, it's definitely a little slower paced. So that's a traitor. I don't want to buy any planks. Alright. He wants to buy 30 berries and 20 polished stone. Good to know. Made 40 gold off of that. Nice. He wants to buy wine. I'm sure we have we have wine, right? I think they're paying a lot for wine too. 120. So if we do three wine. It'll last us 20 visits, sans any missions that we get. Alright. And before we run out of that glorious money that we got, let's, uh... Let's get an iron mine going. If we can make our own tools, that will definitely benefit us. Because we're going to have to go back to buying tools again. Alright. I wonder how long... I'll get you some faith then, brother. I don't know how to get a priest. These guys are all definitely going to go and get some faith here. Hopefully they feel a little bit better. Warning window. All is good still. In our tiny little village. Guy here harvesting the crops. Seriously, we didn't need these trees. I'd be tempted to sell this one back. Actually, let's just pause this construction. I know he's bringing 20 planks, but. What am I going to do with that? Should just build that bakery. Need 20 tools though. How's our market doing? All right. Oh, 
it's not doing too badly. And we're gonna kill immigration. Ah, damn it. Still losing a crap load of money. Got a lot more trade income though. Bought some planks. No wine this time. Mills cranking out the flour. See, it's just a very long slog for these people to bring their berries all the way over here. So we definitely are going to have to maybe throw another granary over here. You know, that way the wheat can come here. Better, better production line, but that that will come. That will come. Right now, we really definitely do need to manage. That way, we're not continually in debt. Yeah, we're gonna still be like a hundred and some in debt. But that also determines on, you know, hinges on trade income as well. So, trader doesn't come a particular week, then, well, we're not going to get any trade income. Almost done clearing all of this as well. So they're bringing 10 tools. I'm going to buy 10 tools next time the trader comes. Gonna cost us another two hundred. Mm. Yeah, that maintenance cost is definitely a killer. Let's hope another another battle ensues or another quest comes so that way I can, you know, make up a little bit of money here. Where I saw a horse, yep. Well, heard a horse. 30 berries. Now we're gonna assist the people in this one. Keep this pause. Resources, stockpile. Hopefully we can get to 30 berries pretty quick here. end up losing a little bit of money because people aren't really going to be able to buy berries while, we'll, while we stockpile it but I definitely need to get to that 30 and we'll give us an extra 200 gold because we're going to have to get at least 10 more tools here all right pause this bakery all right, got two bakers. Still have one person unemployed. I'm just assigning him to being a soldier right now. Nobody unemployed. Nobody unemployed. All right, good. Probably part of this maintenance is the cost of workers. So, okay. Stop stockpiling. Four villages are lacking their food. A lot of villages are lacking faith. 
I'm definitely eventually gonna have to build another church make sure everybody gets the service they need like I said I don't know where we get a priest either oh oh yeah we get that trade bonus What does that mean? Do I get an additional 20%? And we can bring this up to 50. Oh. We also can build a tavern here, which looks really cool. But it's practicality. I, I just. What does it do? Gives me more labor prestige. Unlocks the tax office, which I'm sure is going to lead to more taxes. Yeah. I mean, that's. That's legit. You know, that's pretty cool. But the maintenance, 19 gold. Yeah. Can't afford that right now. Oh, that did not go away. Alright. Alright, we have bread. A lot of bread. And you will accept bread now as well. I'm gonna need another food stall to sell the bread. Probably. Okay, another food stall. I'll be right here. Start construction. So that way as soon as this is built be able to uh, be able to sign her right away. It only took us 10 wood to build that food stall too, which is great. Oswald will finish it up for us. Hopefully with the bread, we might... Nope, nope. Cancel you, I'm sorry. Bread. There we go. Alright. Awesome, and we can actually unlock this trade route as well. And we could get some polished stone. How much do I need? Oh, yeah. That was for the tailor. zero bread in stock so that's understandable why well, we haven't been selling any yet we gotta wait for our new market person to bring it there we already got 20 bread in here she's got four bread there hopefully this will Bring in some good money for us, because we really, we really need it. Running at some major losses.
It's like there's, oh, that's because I got the 20% bonus. I was like, ah, looks like they're selling tools for cheaper. Nope, just had the bonus. And 36 bread here. So bread's coming out of my... So what's going on here? Did she take it out? Is she stocking it? Why does my bread... There's 20 reserved. Where's it going? People just taking the bread out of here? Alright, well, what wares are you? Oh, she brought the bread open. Alright, 28 bread. Finally. Finally. Let's see if anybody will buy any. Nice. Twelve apiece. So at least we're only negative 185 here. With bread production. Definitely hoping we'll start making a positive here. And actually, let's look at trade. Ooh, he's buying fish for four. What's our fish stockpile at? 90? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna trade some fish. We'll sell up to 30. Planks tool. Uh, he is buying bread for ten, which is actually a really good price. And we haven't even sold any wine. All right, but we need common clothes in order to unlock that. Well, bread isn't selling that hot, but at least it's something. So, Weaver's Hut. Did I read that wrong before? Oh, Taylor's Workshop is what I picked. Weaver's Hut does not take polished stone. I kind of screwed myself on that one, huh? All right. I'm gonna allow some immigration. Okay, need to get some people in here to fit that job role, or? So, can they accept wool? Oh, we will allow them to accept flour. Take this back off. And yes, 51 wool.
gonna check this. No, they take wool. Alright. So I'm gonna have to have another one set up with wool in order for this to even produce. And that's an interesting question. Oh, well, I definitely hope not. I hope they can grab it directly from there, but I don't think so. I have a bad feeling that that's not indeed the case. Definitely slowly taking down all these forests here. Definitely have a couple of nice, lovely houses here. I'm telling you though, the, the aesthetic of just all this, I'll deploy them. Sorry. <laughs> yep, you can have, yep, you can have them all. And bro, send. Alright, pause for a quick second. Perfect. But yeah, that just general aesthetic of, you know, houses kind of right below the cliffside, just love it. Makes it definitely feel like a very rustic village. See, these houses got bundled up nice and close. I'm wondering why they're not bundling up houses here, you know? Why these ones are definitely way more spread out. Alright, we're still in the positives here. These territory taxes haven't come yet. like my average villager consumption. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to pull wool out of there. Yeah, we're just gonna change this to wool for the time being. Might have lost those four logs. I don't know. No, no. They get wool on their own. And that is my bad. Now we'll store the we'll store the wood in there. Maybe lost some for nothing. Alright. We're going to have to allow a little more immigration again, I guess. Because we are going to need stone polishers. Okay. Another messenger. We got a ton of kingdom. Yeah, with all the kingdom we have, we're we could pretty much buy everything. All right, we'll uh, we'll assist them. Bam! There you go. Boom. Awesome. We're definitely going to need to buy another warehouse here. Where are you? Oh, that's 200 gold went fast. All I need is 50. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, 
and didn't cost any tools either, which is great. Probably should put another granary right there. We're gonna have two free territories coming up here pretty soon. Like I said, that territory tax is just a killer. Yeah, see, I kind of canceled all that road there. Hopefully we can get that one going. No available villagers, just wanted to make sure. Definitely producing a lot of cloth. Yeah, we'll definitely slot. F I don't want to slot flower there, but hmm. yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a good supply chain. I really don't have a good supply chain set up. If I put wool there, wool's coming all the way over there to come to here, just to come back over there. If I put bread over here, you know, I, mean, I guess I could put wheat. Alright, four people decided to join, so no more immigrants. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing that. All is still good. You know, we're still lacking a lot of faith. Okay, what well we can. Alright, we're definitely gonna put some cloth in here. Villages must not be here yet. We're not going to put wool. Awesome, we got some gold. We will do common clothes as soon as we get those. Polished stone. Yeah, we couldn't, can't put bread in here and it has to be, or wheat, sorry. It wouldn't have to be in the granary, granary, excuse me. Two in there and actually, we will build another one of these as well. Build a frickin' house right there. Seems illogical. Hopefully that's carved up enough. Or just this just a null and void message. We're gonna do a reforestation zone though. All 
right here and see what happens. So I, I don't think we've really had any luck with them planting trees. I don't know if they have to kill them all or if it can't be an extraction zone. Wouldn't make sense why it wouldn't be able to be an extraction zone either. Definitely selling a lot of planks, which is good. Oh, we're making some more decent money from bread now too, which is great. Got a lot of bread. A lot of bread. Not a lot of wood, apparently. It's because I have to come all the way over here. Alright, we're going to erase this extraction zone. make this into a reforestation zone yeah that looks nice and pretty see how they feel about that That's we're definitely lacking it. Lacking the trees. I don't know why I didn't have three woodcutters there, I thought I did. Extract all those. All right, good. All right. Well, we made a little more progress. We are kind of getting our economic mess in order we still have a lot of work to do so this is going to be it for episode four foundation if you guys like the video series please give it a like comment subscribe to my channel and i'll keep on doing more series like this or continue on this series and uh, of course if you want to give it a nice share as 